Good morning guys, Diana here from Garden Love. I was able to escape out of my house and come out here. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but every time I have the opportunity, it's too dark. But I wanted to share something with you guys. As you guys know, last fall, about a year ago, I transplanted two apple trees from someone's yard into my house. So my husband and I went to dug it up and we put it in the back of our truck and we dragged them out to my house. Unfortunately, one of them, I accidentally broke the trunk in the process of wiggling out the tree out of this, the ground. And I didn't know if it was gonna make it or not. If you guys are follow, have been following me for a while, you guys know that it did make it. But I ended up putting it in a wine barrel because I didn't wanna go through the trouble of digging a big hole, especially in the soil that's almost hard as, as a rock. And then it, it dying so what I did is we bought a wine barrel we put it in the wine barrel we cut about two feet off the top that way it wouldn't be that heavy top and we let it sit there until spring came along spring came along and it made it it actually produced a couple of apples actually a lot of apples if you guys go back to my videos you guys will see um, the tree how loaded it was with apples and uh, but the point of the story is that when I got those trees from the person's backyard, he told me that one of them was an apple, a uh, green apple, and one of them was a red apple. Well, spring, summer came by, and all the apples were green. <laughs> and Lily and I just kept eating them because we were like, okay, they're all green. We never figured out which tree was which up until just a few days ago when I was up there doing laundry and if you guys can see that room that's my laundry room and I happened to look outside and look into my apple tree this is one of the apple trees that I transplanted from someone's house let me back up so you guys can see how big it is it is in the ground I barely had any space to dig up a hole there because of that there was two rose bushes one on each side the one over here ended up dying and the one over there is still there and uh, there was other things under there that I could barely get in there, but I managed to get a hole big enough to put the root in there, which it wasn't that big, maybe about two feet wide. Um, so yes, it made it in there, and as you can see how tall it is, pretty tall. And I took about two to three feet off of that. So here we are, weeks later, months, maybe even over a year later, um, we're, we are in winter right now and the apples that I was not able to reach throughout the summer are still up there and that's what I discovered from my laundry room I was able to see that there was one apple let's see if I can zoom in actually a few apples that are on the tree ended up turning red I don't know if you can see that it is a red apple so this is the one that was the red apple the one in the back that had the injury that made it through the fall and the spring and summer that's the green apple tree so now i know which is which which i didn't think i was going to be able to discover that this season but as you can see, the red apple right there. I actually wish I could reach it. I'm going to make an attempt here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. The cutest little red apple ever. And there's another one up there that I can reach. I don't know if there's any more anywhere else. But, yes, this is a red apple. So I'm really excited about discovering this. I'm glad that the birds didn't eat them before I can see the apple. Let's go back over there. And that's what's happening, guys. I just wanted to take a moment to share that with you guys because it's a great discovery. Now I know that this is my red apple and this kind of looks like a gala apple. That's another thing. He didn't tell me what kind of apple tree it was, neither one of them. He just said one was green and one was uh, red. 
this one is red if you guys can tell what kind of apple this is just by looking at it please leave it in the comments down below it looks like a gala apple to me i'm not sure maybe a fuji not sure like i said if you guys know what kind of apple tree this is leave it in the comments down below i would love to know um i'm not sure if i should share this with lily <laughs> or should i just bite into it but um let me see Mmm, so good. We were eating all these apples during the summer while they were green. And even though they were green, they were sweet. But now that they turn red and they've been sitting in the tree, they are super sweet. Mm -hmm. And if you're wondering where the other tree is, I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but I'm going to try to show you. Here in my jungle. That's where the other trees at. That's actually sitting in a wine bear. I don't know if you can see it. And it's pretty tall. It's taller than that fence. And so now I know that that's the green apple tree, and the one behind me, it's the red apple tree. Anyways, guys, um, just wanted to take a moment to share that with you guys. And as you guys can see, my passion fruit is growing amazingly. We've had a few. Fr I'm not sure, actually. I haven't sure. I'm not sure we have any frosts yet. But as you can see, it's still thriving. It's almost covering the fence, just like I wanted it to. Like I mentioned last year, that was my ultimate goal. I wanted my passion fruit to cover this trellis that i built for it well my husband and i built for it and that way it can provide more of a more of a privacy fence and also it can um add some more green to my yard all right guys that's it that's all i wanted to share with you guys as far as my apple tree i'm really excited to know that i have uh, the red apple i know which one it is <laughs> i'm gonna share the rest with lily um that's it. I'm so happy to be able to get out here and share some of my garden successes. There's actually a few more, but I don't want to make this video super long, so I'll split them into different sections. All right, guys. You guys have a blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.